Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. This one's pulling a little bit of drag. Sheep said number eight. <laughs> this ain't even rolling. It's not even rolling. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hey, babe. Man, that's a lot in there. That's good. It's you, I can put you up with two. Oh, well, thank you so, so you much. you better feel special. I do feel special. <laughs> we got our fiddler crabs. Guys, check this out. Real habit jigs. These are the ones you want to use. These ne Neiman jigs and real habit jigs. Here at St. Augustine Paddle Sports, they do catch fish. Wow, there is a storm brewing right behind me. I just got here. I just loaded the kayak up. Today's video is all about the sheep's head, the wintertime sheep's head. I've had enough of the bluefish in the surf. It's time to catch some convicts. The police are out. We're coming for you, for you convicts. Let's go. Here's a way to keep your fiddler crabs alive a little longer. Just go ahead. And wet them down just give them a good rinse that'll keep them keep them alive longer this will this will take off all that excrement and things that uh, they're purging themselves too you know so you want to just rinse all that off close the lid simply just dump it out make sure all that water gets out of there so the ones on the bottom don't drown. That's good, Just keep, keep them alive a little longer, at least. Wow, it started pouring rain. Zero chance of rain today. Zero chance of rain today, and it is torrential pour down, torrential. Not what I was after. But we caught ourselves a redfish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was trying to catch sheep's head. Let's see. Well, we're going 17 inches. 17 inch redfish. That's a nice one. Well, it's a fun catch anyway on a bottom sweeper jig with a fiddler crab. I wasn't expecting that. But I guess they love them too, you know. All right. See you later. Well, that was freaking sweet. A redfish. Trying to catch sheep's head. But uh, let's keep going. That was fun. Real habit jig. It's a bottom sweeper jig. And I put two fiddler crabs on. A male and a female. This is going to be irresistible. This is it. Take it. Got it. Got him. Doesn't feel that big. Whoa, there he goes. He's fighting now. Ooh. Yeah. This is a net. Nah, he's a, he's only 14. We'll get him back. Your lucky day today, buddy. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is shenanigans. It's, it's all about, for me, in this channel, it's about having fun, going out. I don't really do any tournaments or anything like that. I just like to go out and I show all my spots, everywhere I'm fishing, what I'm fishing, what I'm using for bait, uh, what's biting. So 
and I fish like I'll post a new video at least once a week sometimes there's two or three a week I'm a musician for a living so I get a lot of daytimes to, to go fishing so I try to give it back I'm trying to give it back let you see what's going on where I'm at accidentally chummed up the water and now yep yeah, there's a fish on Flip him. Ah. Oh God. <laughs> I don't have my other camera going. Woo. Man. Okay, this is sheep's head number six. You're allowed to keep eight. So far, six of them have been legal. So, whatever. It's pretty awesome. I tell you. Everything is a challenge in a kayak. Kayak fisherman. Everything is a challenge. <laughs> 13 inches. This is also a keeper, but I'm going to get it back. He's a little small for me. I like him at 15, so. I might lose him. This might be my new PB. New PB. New PB. He's in the net. That is definitely my new PB. See, I went to a little deeper water. Boom, that's where the bigger ones were hanging. Yes, sir. I'm not a professional. Don't do this at home. It's not one of those fancy kayaks either. So. Okay, we got a couple issues. One. My jig head is stuck. So I'm gonna have, have to go ahead and cut that off for just now. Because I can't do anything. There you go. Can't move my pole. All right, pole is gone. I do not want to break the rod tip off. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this is by far the biggest sheep's head I've ever caught in my entire life. <laughs> okay. This might be... Okay. It's not that big. It's 17 inches. But it's the biggest one I've ever caught. So, it's going on the stringer. This one's going home. This is a good dinner one. I might sub out my 15 incher. Let it go free. So I can keep this one. Whoa. Stay in the kayak. So this is why you want a rubber net right here. You don't want what I have. I was trying to buy one yesterday and St. Augustine Paddle Sports was out of them. But if you have a rubber net, you don't get this problem where it's all caught up in the, up in the, uh, in the net here. So that's my next purchase. If you have any advice on which net to get, leave a comment below. I heard the uh, Ego nets are good, but I'll take any advice. Or if you'd like to uh, donate one to the channel, let me know, I'll put your name in it. Let everybody know it was from you. Very cool. All right, I got my lure back. Let's get tied up, let's go back. Whoa, baby, that was quick. All right, this is a, a redfish. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Wow. That was not expected. All right, that goes there. Man, he got this thing all messed up. I think we're good here. And this is wrapped around his mouth. And we're good. Okay. All right. Not bad. We'll let this guy go. <laughs> Literally seconds. I was within seconds. I'm about to run into this dock. Okay. Let's get out of here. That. 
I'm not kidding. That's like not even a foot of water. I caught that guy. Not even a foot. I'm loving this Okuma rod. The seven foot rod is like perfect for this. It's perfect. I can get underneath docks. I can bend over far enough to where I can like still maintain like a big redfish. Or fighting sheep. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. This one's pulling a little bit of drag. Oh. Sheep said number eight. Oh. Said number eight. This guy's gonna be small, so I'm already. I already know I'm gonna let him go. But I just like to. I just like to measure it up. See, GoPro's just dying on me. Okay, that's uh, that's 13. It is a keeper, guys. I would have my limit. My limit would be met. Um, we limited out on sheep's head. But I'm not keeping anything under 15 inches. You can keep uh, 12. 12 inches. So. Live to play another day, little dude. Well, sun's going down. I do, I do still have to load up this kayak by myself, uh, which I've never done before. So I want to... Make sure I have enough sunlight to do that. Guys, thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Fish Bites Trading Post, Real Habit Jigs, St. Augustine Paddle Sports, my buddy, shout out to my buddies, uh, David Hernandez, my buddy Miles from Miles Away Fishing. He, um, Him and I are going to do a collaboration video on kayaks. May not be the next video coming out, but uh, look to see for his channel too. Um, miles away fishing yeah he's he's uh he's a, he's a good fishing buddy and taught me he's taught me a lot about sheep's head fishing and if you, i'm getting hit i'm getting hit oh, i'm getting hit yeah oh, and i'm getting a phone call spam caller oh it's angelina 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 I'm literally fishing. I wanted to say one thing. What do you want to say? This is the last time I'm going to talk to you before I turn 13. This is the last time you're talking oh. to me before I turn a teenager. Wow. So you're going to be, uh, you're 12 for like one more day? One more hours. Wow. Well, happy birthday, Angelina. My niece is turning 13. We're going to have a party. Um, anyway, I'm in the middle of fishing. I'll call you later. Alright, bye bye. Sail, sail away. Sail away.